Many improvements await players in Update 9.17.1, a new top-tier heavy tank, revamped premium vehicles, German tanks, American TDs, and British medium tanks, as well as the improved interface and important changes to the Stronghold mode. Learn more right here. A new Tier 10 heavy tank, the Panzerkampfwagen 7, appeared in Update 9.17.1. In its characteristics, it's similar to the VK-7201 that was the Global Map Award vehicle. The difference is in their guns. The newcomer has lower damage per shot, but better accuracy, stabilization, and aiming time. Regarding its playstyle, this heavy tank is a logical continuation of the VK branch. That's why it occupies the mouse's place in the tech tree. Also, two more new vehicles were added, the VK-101P and Moissian. These vehicles will come before the mouse. These heavy tanks are quite slow, but well armored. So they will properly prepare players for later battles on the legendary vehicle. Some German tanks were significantly reworked in Update 9.17.1. The mouse gun was improved. Its dispersion, aiming time, and reload time were reduced. Also, the heavy got 200 more hit points and better armor. The hull front, sides, and slopes became noticeably thicker. In skillful hands, the mouse can bounce shells and absorb damage even better than before. The armor penetration of a standard shell was improved for the E-100's top gun. Previously, this heavy tank depended heavily on heat shells, because the armor-piercing ones could penetrate only 235 millimeters of armor. But now, it's 246 millimeters. The German medium tanks were drastically changed. The Tier 6 VK-3001P received better gun accuracy, improved armor for all gun mantlets, and more hit points. The VK-3001D got more dynamics and a faster rate of fire. The VK-3002M now has lower dispersion and a thicker upper glacis plate. At Tier 7, the Panther has become more quick-firing, and the VK-3002D is now more dynamic. Aiming times were improved for the Indian Panzer. The Panther II received a new gun. This is the alternative top gun of the E-50. At Tier 8, it will stand out with its excellent armor penetration and accuracy. The Tier 9 medium tanks received better gun depression angles. Also, the E-50 firing characteristics were significantly improved. Its accuracy, aiming time, and reload time became better. The E-50M's lower glacis plate became better armored. Previously 100 mm thick, it's now 120 mm thick. Vehicles like the Grill 15 and T110 E5 were nerfed. A number of characteristics were changed for the Grill 15. Gun depression angles were reduced from 8 to 7 degrees. Its engine power was reduced from 900 to 850 HP. Shell velocity is slowed down from 1,350 to 1,200 meters per second. Reverse speed was reduced from 20 to 15 kilometers per hour. And most importantly, the gun reload time was increased from 16.5 to 18 seconds. The T110 E5 also became more vulnerable. The armor protection of its commander cupola and area behind the front wheel was weakened. Nevertheless, this American Heavy will still be able to absorb damage effectively when maneuvering well enough. The maximum speed of the American TDs was increased. Now the T-28 accelerates up to 22 km per hour, the T-28 prototype up to 28 km per hour, and the record breaker for slowness, the T-95, up to 20 km per hour. Also, all three TDs got a faster reverse speed. The speed of the two British Centurion tanks was also buffed. Now it's up to 50 km per hour. Additionally, their rate of fire was improved, and this increased their damage per minute significantly. The Japanese Type 4 Heavy and Type 5 Heavy received better front armor. The latter became dangerously thick. Its hull cheeks, front, and most part of the lower glacis plate are now 270 mm thick, and the turret front armor is now at least 280 mm thick. The upper hull also became stronger. Now it's 160 mm thick. The Japanese heavies were given howitzers. The top tank has two types of high-explosive shells with an average damage of 1,000 and 1,300 respectively. In practice, it does 400 to 600 damage per shot. But if you get lucky, you can knock more than 1,500 HP off the enemy. We continue to improve premium vehicles. In Update 9.17.1, a few more tanks were reworked. 
The FV4202 speed was increased from 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. The T3485M received reduced dispersion and aiming time, as well as better armor penetration. The Japanese Tiger got better armor penetration for APCR shells, up to 194 millimeters. Also, its gun mantlet became stronger. The Panther M10 changed significantly. Its accuracy, aiming and reload time, view range, and maximum speed became better. Also, it now has thicker skin due to its spaced armor. The Schmalturm also received better accuracy and reload time. Visit the official website to find more details about all changes. With update 9.17.1, we continue to give vehicles HD models. More than 20 vehicles were visually improved. Among them are the VK4502, E50, Object 263, and the longest HD model in the game, the TOG2. The game interface was improved. The detailed panel for damage received was added. It will show you what vehicle has fired at you and with what type of shell. The panels for damage caused and received can be placed in different areas of the screen. Damage indicators were changed. Now their width depends directly on the amount of damage received. The higher the damage is, the wider the indicator will be. You can turn on this feature in the settings menu. The dynamic characteristics of the vehicles in the garage became more informative. If you hover the cursor over them, a pop-up window will appear where you will clearly see how the crew, consumables, and equipment influence the vehicle characteristics. The tank carousel was also improved. Now it displays information about victory percentage, mastery badges, and marks of excellence on the gun. Also, searching for vehicles by name was added. The stronghold mode was significantly changed. A new format, named Advance, was introduced. It will be replacing battles for stronghold. Pillaging is disabled in this mode. Matching with an opponent is now random and chosen from the clans that have the closest skill level. This mode is not obligatory. It's also important to mention that you can invite Legionnaires to the Advance mode. Now you don't need to be a clan member to try the Stronghold mode. War Department was removed. Instead, a new competitive format was introduced, War Games. In this format, clans that participate in advances and skirmishes fight for a place on the leaderboard in several disciplines. The best clans will receive in-game gold, high-level reserves, and other rewards. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield.